The story, it has captivated the national public and shed light on a growing frustration with the health care system. While we've been covering the story, viewers have been commenting their reactions with some calling him a hero, while others are happy to see him arrested. Now, here are some of the comments here we got on our Facebook page. Karen, she says murdering someone is how you make a statement. It's how you get a sentence. We also have another comment here from Chris. He said he ruined his life. Looks like he had it all. Another comment here from Sherry. She says, Guy should have been given a medal. And you know, officials, they are seeing these mixed reactions as Governor Shapiro makes his point clear about who is the real hero in this story. In some dark corners, this killer is being hailed as a hero. Hear me on this. He is no hero. The real hero in this story is the person who called 911 at McDonald's this morning. But the unknown McDonald's employee is getting backlash online, and that's extending out to the location itself. On Yelp, the website posted an unusual activity alert as reviewers are giving one-star reviews calling the location infested with rats, a reference to the employee giving Mangiani's location to police. And joining us in the studio to discuss how people are responding to the character of the suspected gunman is CBS 21's Fatima Moen. Hi, Kennedy. Those comments seem to be supportive and hateful towards Mangione. So with this understanding, I had a chance to speak with a psychologist that breaks down why folks tend to feel the way they feel. A lot of people in this country don't feel really heard when they're taken advantage of by large industries. Um, and that might be what some of the rallying behind him and some of the support is about, is individuals just feel like they are being heard via his actions. Those alleged actions pulling the trigger on a New York City sidewalk killing United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson. People are gravitating towards Luigi Mangioni, but there are multiple reasons why psychologist Amy Marshall says this could have happened. Especially multiple degrees from you, Penn. He's probably quite intelligent. Then it's easier to think that this wasn't simply an impulsive act, but maybe something that was well thought out. So it may be playing a role in why people are thinking this is much more positive. And a former classmate of Mangione's agrees. From the inscribed bullets to the monopoly money to the manifesto, thinking about him being valedictorian and then going on to a school like Penn, it does check out in that way. I think that that's probably a lot of what makes this story so captivating is that it, it is unusual. He's not someone that we would expect to engage in such behavior. Amy explained that there isn't one single life event that leads one to commit such a crime. It's hard to tell in a case like this. The best practice for viewers in a heightened case like this one is to wait and see from officials before jumping to conclusions on the motive in question. Kennedy, back to you.